the bear, Anton Chekhov, translated by Julius West. Characters. We already know the characters. Elena Vinona Popova, a land on a little widow with dimples on her cheeks. Then, second character, Grigory Stepanovich Smirnov, a middle aged landowner. Then, the third one, Luca Popova's aged footman. Footman means servant. In this drama, there are only three characters. One female character and two male characters. Now, what is the place of action? A drawing room in Popova's house. Huh? The action of the drama take place in Popova's house, in a drawing room, visitor's room. Drawing room means visitor's room. Parlor. Popova is in deep mourning. Now, this is Popova's appearance. She's in a, a morning suit. Black suit. Wearing a black suit. Her eyes fixed on a photograph. She's looking at a photograph. Luca is haranguing her. Luca is just around her. Uh, giving him some, her some trouble. Right. Now, when the drama begins, uh, Popova is uh, uh, crying or weeping about a lost husband wearing a black suit. Luca, the servant, is not happy about this morning. Therefore, he is haranguing her, stopping, uh, troubling her, compelling her to stop this uh, useless morning. Right. We hear Luca's words first. Luca, it isn't right, madam. Madam, this is not okay. You are just destroying yourself. Now, Luca is an elderly man, matured person. He knows much about life. Through experiences he speaks, he says, Madam, you are destroying your youthful life uh, because of this morning. The maid and the cook, the maid and the cook, the servant and the cook, have gone or fruit picking. Now all other people, they are in their ordinary life. Mm. They enjoy their lives. They, they are engaged in their duties. Every living being, all living animals, living being means living animals, is rejoicing, enjoying life. Even the cat, house cat, understands how to enjoy herself. She also walks about in the yard catching midges. Even the house cat, midges means small insects, she's also walking here and they are enjoying her life catching small insects. Underline. This is Luca's displeasure. Luca's displeasure about Popova's morning. He does not like. Only you sit in this room all day. Now you, what about you? You keep sitting in this room all day. Like this room is a convent. Convent is a, a religious a retreat or place for Women, according to Christianity, 
to stay a holy life, a spiritual life, keeping away from uh, worldly life, ordinary life. And don't take any pleasure. You don't enjoy life. Yes, really, actually, you don't enjoy life. I reckon, I think, it's a whole year, complete year. You have been in this morning, a complete year. Mm. You haven't left the house. You haven't left this house. Luca comments, he criticizes Popova's useless uh, morning. He does not like it because he knows that this morning will destroy Popova's youthful life. Youthful life. Whatever Luca says has some truth. Now dead people are gone. They will never come back to life. But other people must think of living until death comes to them. Popoa. These are Popoa's words. I shall never go out. No. I will never leave this room. Why should I? Why should I go out? Underline. My life is already at an end. My life is already at an end. My life is also over. Popoa says. He is in his grave. He means her husband. My husband is dead. Grave means buried. Death. I have buried myself. I have buried myself. I am also a buried woman in this room. Four walls. Four walls means her room. We are both dead. Now, Popova is in quite disappointed, miserable, unhappy situation. She feels she has lost her life. She is also a dead woman after her husband's death. Now, Popova appears to be a really a loving wife. Really a loving wife. Ideal loving wife. Because she still loves her Husband. Husband is dead and gone, but she still loves him. Right. This is how Popova appears at first. An ideal morning wife. Ideal morning wife, not it down. Popova appears as an ideal morning wife. Wearing black suit, keeping looking at a photograph of dead husband and crying. Eyes are full of tears. That is how. But Luca does not care any of this. He knows this morning is not beneficial, useful to this young woman. Well, he further harangues or he further explains. Well, there you are. There you see. Nikolai Mihailovich. Nikolai Mihailovich is uh, Popova's husband. He is dead now. Not that name. Nikolai is dead. Well, it is the will of God. That is nature. Will of God means that is nature. Hmm? Everyone must come to dust or must come to end one day. That is natural. That is God's wish. May soul rest in peace. Ah. You mourned him. You have mourned him. You have wept over him. Quite right. It's okay. But you can't go on weeping and wearing and mourning. Now he says, you cannot keep weeping, wearing black suit, and mourning, crying forever. Ah. My dear lady, you can't keep crying forever. He goes back to his past life. Luca explains. He refers to his uh, wife's death. 
my old woman died too. My wife also died. When her time came, well, what happened? I grieved over her, mourned, grieved means mourned. I mourned over her. I wept for a month. I was worried, grieved also means worried. I was worried and wept, mourned over her for a month. Only one month I mourned. That's enough for her. That's enough for her. But if I got to weave for a whole age, if I got to weave during my whole lifetime, oh, you know, the old woman isn't worth it. My old wife is not that important, not that valuable. My life is more valuable than my dead wife. Now, this is the reality of life, right? Realistic nature of life. Death is common. If one man is dead, hmm, all other people must not live upon that dead man. They must start a new life. Sais. Now, Luca is really worried. Sais means he expresses his sorrow. He expresses his sorrow. He's really worried. He's really worried. Right? You have, <coughs> he says, you have forgotten all your neighbors. You have forgotten all your neighbors. Right? You have forgotten all your neighbors. You don't go anywhere. You don't go anywhere. You don't go anywhere. Right? Now, Popoa is still. He's still. Uh, You don't go anywhere and you see nobody. You don't meet anyone. Underline these words are very important. Now, Popoa's morning affects all other lives in this house. Luca comments, we live so to speak. We live, so to speak, like spiders. Like spiders. Right? What is the idea? You look at the simile used there. You look at the simile used there. What is the simile? Hmm. We live, so to Speak like spiders. Now, this is the simile. What is the idea? Now, spiders. Spiders are some insects. Ah, spiders have a limited life. They cannot go away. Ah, they cannot go away. Out of their web. Their web is their world. They are web beasts, they are world. Limited life. And also they live in dark corners to catch other animals. They never see the light. They never see the bright side of life. Now, <coughs> Luca compares Luca compares the lives of Popoa's house to spiders. Because of Popoa's morning, they have no life. They have no life. They have no future. Their life has stopped. Their lives are stagnant, not moving. The mice have eaten my livery. Uh, mice have destroyed my livery. 
that uh, stuff for horses and other animals, livery, food and other things for animals. It isn't, now Luca says, it isn't as if there were no good people around. Now, Popoa, you behave as if there are no other good people around this place. Good men, he refers to men. Because the districts, this area is full of good people. There's a regiment. Regiment means army platoon. There is an army platoon ported, uh, stayed. Ported means at Riblov. Riblov is a place name. And officers are such beauties. There are beautiful officers, handsome officers. People, you can go there. Uh, you can never guess you feel. Mm, you can never guess you feel at them. Uh, you can never finish by looking at them. You will gaze at them. That's the idea. Because they are such handsome people. And every day, there's a ball. Ball means a ballroom dancing, dancing festivals. Ball means dancing. There's dancing festival every night at the camp. You better go there. Every day, the soldiers band plays. There were soldiers, musical bands, they sing song. Go and enjoy. My lady, ah, uh, my lady, underline. These words are very important. This is the realistic nature of life. Luca knows it. Luca says, you are young and beautiful, madam. You are still beautiful woman. With roses in your cheeks. Roses in your cheek. This is a metaphor. What is the idea? Youthfulness. Beauty. Roses in your cheeks means youthfulness or beauty. You have still beauty in your face. If you only took a little pleasure, if you enjoy, if you have a little uh, pleasure or this uh, <coughs> consent or feeling, you can enjoy life. Beauty won't last. You know, beauty is not permanent. Luca says, Madam, beauty is not permanent. It vanishes soon. You know, in 10 years' time, after 10 years' time, now Luca refers to future. In future time, you will want to be a peahen. You will want to be a beautiful woman. Peahen means young woman. It's also a metaphor, a peahen. You will want to be a young woman before the officers, but they will never look at you. It will be too late. Now Luca requests Popova to enjoy life, forgetting her mourning. If she wishes, she can also get married. Now Luca's advice is quite realistic. Realistic, natural. Logical and even. Now, what is Popoa's reaction? Popoa does not agree with Luca. She blames Luca. I must ask you, I must tell you, Luca, not to talk to me about it. Don't talk to me about men enjoying life. I don't want, you know, when Nikolai Mihailovich died, life lost all meaning for me. After my husband's death, I have no life. My life is meaningless. Life lost all its meaning means my life is meaningless to me. Why should I live without my husband? 
I vowed. Vowed means promised. I promised never to the end of my days until my death to cease, to stop. Cease means stop. To wear mourning. To wear this black suit. I will wear this black suit until my death. I have a promise for myself. And to see the light. To see the life. Light means your life. Happy life. Better side of the life. Hmm. Now this is Popova's determination. What is her determination? What's her decision? Idea? She wants to keep mourning until her death. She wants to be an ideal mourner. Ideal mourner. Ah. You hear? Do you hear? Luca? Let his ghost, his ghost means dead Nikolai. Let dead Nikolai see how well I love him. My husband will see from his grave how I love him. Now this is what Popova wants. She wants to show her husband she is still a loving wife. But this husband, Nikolai, is not a loving husband. He is a bad fellow. He never loved Popova. You see? I know it's no secret to you, Luca, it's not secret to you that underline. He was often unfair to me, cruel, and even unfaithful. Actually, this was uh, Nikolai's character, her husband. Her husband was not a good person, unfair, unjust, not reasonable, cruel, even evil, very bad. Unfaithful, not honest, not an honest husband. He was cheating husband. But Popova says she still loves this bad husband. We don't know why. Why she still loves this bad person. It is for this bad person she is going to keep in mourning for life. But I shall be true till death. Popova says... I will be a true wife until my death and show him how I can love. There, beyond the grave, from that grave, death, grave means death, he will see me as I was before his death. Now, Popova wants to prove herself before her husband, to her husband, dead husband, that she is still a loving wife. Right. But Luca rejects. Luca says, instead of talking like that, instead of speaking like that, don't speak like that, madam. You ought to go out. Please go out. Have a walk in the garden. Or order Toby or Giant. Now, Toby or Giant are two horses. Two horses used by Nikolai. Please take Toby or Giant. Be harnessed, prepared, and then drive out to see some of your neighbors. Go away to see your neighbors. Now Luca still compels her to forget her, stop her mourning and to uh, live a normal life. She weeps when... Uh, Luca refers to these horses. She weeps. She cries again. Oh, she weeps. Madam, dear madam, what is it? Bless you. God bless you. Then Popova says, she suddenly remembers her husband. Hmm. How he rides. Toby. Toby is husband's Favorite horse. He was so fond of Toby. He was fond of. He loved this Toby too much. He always used to ride on him. Toby was his best horse. To Kochagins. Sometimes he rides to Kochagins. Lassos. There are two places. 
They are Russian names, absurd pronunciations. How well he could write? Ah, he could write very well. Now, Popova enjoys, remembers. This nostalgic memory gives her pleasure. Ah, my husband was very smart person, very handsome person in riding horses. What grace they are, what beauty. What grace there was in his figure. Ah, he was handsome fellow. Mm. When he rides the horse, pulled at the range, pulled at the range means ride the horse with all his strength. Now, this man is very strong character. Do you remember Luca? Oh, Toby, Toby. Luca, tell them to give him. He means Toby. Uh, tell them to give Toby some extra feed of oats, extra food. Oats means horse food. Uh, give Toby some additional food. Luca, yes, madam. A bell rings noisily. Right. Now, please divide your, mm, draw a line and divide. This script, this is the first scene. This is the end of the first scene. Part one, scene, S-C-E-N-E. Right? Scene one. Right? Till here. Yes, madam. Right. Scene one. Scene one comment. Scene one comment. Write down. Popova and Luca. Popova and Luca. Popova and Luca. Appear. Popova and Luca appear on stage. Appear on stage. Appear on stage. Popova appears as A morning woman, M O U R, Popo appears as a morning woman wearing A black suit or black gown wearing a black gown, G O W N. Black gown. She keeps looking at. She keeps looking at a photograph and her eyes are full of and her eyes are full of
pies. Pies. Luca. Luca. Y sin. <clears throat> Luca y sin. Speaking to Popoa. Speak into Popoa. Speak into Popoa. The subject matter of their conversation The subject matter of their conversation the sub the subject matter of their conversation is Popoas. Lifelong morning. Popoas. Lifelong morning. Popoa's lifelong morning. Next paragraph. Luca is Luca is Popoa's Servant Luca is Popoa servant but he also appears as Popoa's Faithful protector. Popoa's faithful protector. Faithful protector. He is a matured. M A T U R E D matured old man. He's a matured old man. Who has much experience? Who has much experience about life? Who has much experience about life? About life.
Therefore, therefore, Luca understands. Therefore, Luca understands that Popoas 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 Lifelong morning Popoas lifelong morning is useless and it only destroys it only destroys her life it only destroys her life it only destroys her life please caught you are just destroying yourself it isn't right madam you are just destroying yourself Okay. Bond writing. He kindly requests, he kindly requests to come back to more, to come back to normal life, to come back to normal life. from her useless morning from her useless morning full stop he also explains to popoa he also explains to Popoa He also explains to Popoa that Death is natural. Death is natural. 
and common to everyone. Death is natural and common to everyone. Common to everyone. And no dead person, no dead person, no dead person come back to life. No dead persons. Come back to life. Full stop. He explains that. He explains that. Life and the living people, life and the living people are much more valuable, are much more valuable than the dead. than the dead. Full stop. He explains this reality. He explains this reality by referring to by referring to the death of his own wife. By referring to the death of his own wife, please quote these words. I grieved over her. I wept for a month, and that's enough of for that's enough for her. But if I got to weep for a whole age, well, the old woman isn't worth it. Go on writing. Luca has 
Luca has a serious comment a serious comment on popoa's morning He mentions, he mentions that Popoa's morning Popoa's morning not only destroys her life but also the lives of other people and animals lives of other people and animals under popoa's roof under popoa's roof And the Popoa's roof. He mentions that all of them live like spiders. All of them live like spiders. Without any movement. Without any movement. M-O-V-E-M-E-N-T. Without any movement. In life in life they are also caught they are also caught c a u g h t caught in in the web, W-E-B, web of Popoa's morning. In the web of Popoa's morning. Please, God, we live so to speak like spiders and never see the light. We live so to speak like spiders and never see the light.
go on writing. Luca also explains to Popova. Luca also explains to Popova the realistic nature. R E A L I S T I C. The realistic nature of human life its thoughts T H O U G S T S thoughts and beauty. He mentions that he mentions that all these aspect of life all these aspect of life constantly change constantly change and nothing is permanent nothing is permanent Nothing is permanent. The beautiful Popova will soon become an old lady the beautiful Popoa will soon become an old lady an old lady in future therefore therefore Life must be enjoyed. Life must be enjoyed. While it is while it is still youthful while it is still youthful while it is still youthful
प्लीज कॉट यू आर यंग एंड ब्यूटीफुल विथ रोसेस इन यू चीट्स सिक्सटी एट पेज नंबर यू आर यंग एंड ब्यूटीफुल विथ रोसेस इन यू चीट इफ यू ओनली टुक अ लिटिल प्लेशर ब्यूटी वॉन्ट लास्ट लॉन्ग यू नो okay go on writing lucas lucas words Lucas words are practical logical and realistic practical logical and realistic human body human body human body and human thoughts human body and human thoughts are under constant change constant change Full stop. In a few years, in a few years, Popoa's thoughts, Popoa's thoughts. and feelings popoa's thoughts and feelings about the dead husband about her dead husband may change may change may change
she may want to enjoy. She may want to enjoy. She may want to enjoy. Her life again but by that time she will be too late. She will be too late. Next paragraph. However, however, Popova does not agree. Popova does not agree. with Lucas, with Lucas idea, with Lucas idea. Lucas idea. She mentions that she mentions that after her husband's death after her husband's death D E A T H death. She has no interest in life. She has no interest in life. And feels like and feels like. A dead person, and feels like a dead person buried in a room. B u r i d buried in a room. Uh, go back to page sixty-seven. Caught this part. My life is already at an end. He is in his grave and I have buried myself between four walls. We are both dead. We are both dead. We are both dead. Go on writing. Popo is determined. 
Opoa is determined D E T E R M I N E D determined to be an ideal mon to be an ideal mon in order to show her in order to show her love in order to show her love for the dead husband please caught I vowed never to the end of my days to cease to wear mourning or to see the light. See the light. Go on writing down. As Popoa further mentions, as Popoa further mentions, her husband Nikolai her husband Nikolai is not is not a morally good man m o r a double l y a morally good man Please caught. I know it's no secret to you that he was often unfair to me, cruel and even unfaithful. Go on writing. Popoa's husband. Popoa's husband. 
has never been has never been has never been a loving a loving kind hearted and faithful husband faithful husband Faithful husband. There has never been. There has never been. A good and sound. There has never been a good and sound marital relationship. Marital relationship between them. Between them. But Popova says, but Popova says that she still loves, she still loves her husband. and wants to show it and wants to show it by morning throughout her life by morning throughout her life. Please God. But I shall be true till death and show him how I can love. There beyond the grave, he will see me as I was before his death.
ओके Hopua's words are unbelievable. Hopua's words are unbelievable. Believable. It is unbelievable. Why a woman? Why a woman? Still loves. A husband or man who has been who has been unfaithful and unloving, unfaithful and unloving to her. unloving to her. Popo was mourning, therefore, therefore, Popo was mourning, appears to be Therefore, Popoa's morning appears to be a pretense. P R E T E N C E. A pretense. before her society. Before her society. She may want. She may want. to impress i am p r e double s to impress her society that she is an ideal lover she is an ideal lover I D E A. She is an ideal lover. Okay. 
that's all for that part of the scene or drama. We'll discuss the second scene next week. Second scene.